Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Kung nasaan ka mang parte ng mundo ngayon. Welcome po sa LA Phil Naz. Ako po si Jeff. Uh, we're from Los Angeles First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. Alina po kayo at sumali sa aming simbahan. Every Sunday 9am, join our church. 3401 West 3rd Street, Los Angeles, California. Or online. Meron po tayong fellowship schedule sa Facebook, sa YouTube, virtual. Uh, almost every day, uh, we're available for you. Let's start with the reading of the word. February 4, 2021. It's Thursday. Wow, Webes na. Bilis. Psalm 139, 23-24 Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my concerns. See if there is any offensive way in me. Lead me in the everlasting way. For this morning, let's talk about knowing your triggers. Uh, dapat daw alamin natin ano ba ang nagpapasimula ng ating galit. Alam nyo, sa totoo lang, anger is not a sin. Sabi nga, in Psalm 4.4, in your anger, do not sin. It's just a sign. Okay? Kung nagkagalit ka, it's a sign of something. And when you see a sign... You need to pay attention. Parang pag nagdadrive ka, di ba? Madaming road signs. And you need to pay attention. The sign is trying to tell you something important. Eh, malamang, di ba? God created us to need security. Kailangan natin ng connection. And a sense of control. Ika nga. Yan ay uh, sa pamagitan ng free will, yung gift ng Panginoon sa atin. Meron tayong laya na mag-isip. At uh, gawin ko anong gusto natin gawin. But He wanted us to get those needs met directly from Him. Huwag mo sana itong kunin sa kung saan-saan lamang dito sa mundo na to. Ang sabi niya ay kunin mo ito sa Kanya. Alam niyo ang kasalanan na eh, madaming dulot na masama. Sin messed that up. No? Yung sistema na yon, yung konsepto na yon. But one good thing is, Jesus reconnected us to God through His sacrifice and forgiveness. With the relationship restored, we have access to all we need in God. Good thing, tumating ang Panginoong Iso Kristo. So when we start getting angry about not getting our need met from someone or something around us, eh, it's a sign pointing us to an area we need to surrender to God. The only one who can really meet that need. Because of our past experiences and upbringing, we usually have one area of security, connection, or control that makes us super sensitive. Malaking epekto yung pinanggalingan natin pamilya, yung kultura, yung mga pumapalibot sa atin, sa buhay natin ngayon. Mga tao na nakaka-apekto sa atin. You see, when we don't have it, or it seems like we are being threatened it, I'm sorry, threatened in that area, ang nangyayari, we just react. No? We just react to situations. Kasi nga, our past experiences and upbringing no, usually have one area of security, connection, or control that makes us super sensitive. We need to know ourselves And what makes us angry? Dapat kilalanin mo yung sarili mo. At ano ba yung nakapagpatik? No? Kung papa, papatindi ng galit mo. Ika nga, a humble knowledge of yourself is a surer way to God than a deep search after learning. Kahit na anong, <laughs> kahit na anong aral ang gawin mo, pinakamataas na edukasyon ang kunin mo, pero walang tatalo sa pagkakilala mo sa sarili mo, yung humble knowledge of yourself, yun ang masurer way sa Panginoon kesa 
kung ano-ano ang pinapasok natin sa ating mga isipan na akala natin ay nakakatulong. Hindi naman pala. Matuto tayo kay Haring David. That's what King David was talking about in today's verse when he says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Diba? Hari na yun, pero napaka-humble. Diba? Kumbaga, yun yung surer way eh, papunta sa Panginoon to humble yourself. Kagaya ni Haring David. Keep a piece of paper handy today and whenever you feel yourself getting angry, after you calm down, eto na, isulat mo, write down what was happening when you started getting angry. That is something na pwede makatulong sa'yo para, para malaman mo, ano ba talaga nagpapagalit sa akin? See if you can connect it to feeling threatened, insecurity, connection, or control. And then, mag-keep track ka ng iyong anger. No? Keep track of your angry moments and you'll start to see a pattern. Pag nakita mo yung pattern, that will help you to prevent it no? in the future. At syempre, tutulungan ka ng Panginoon. When you know your patterns, no? when you know patterns of what makes you angry, you can either avoid those kinds of situations or if you can't avoid the situation you can go in you can kubaka you can go in mentally prepared sasabak mo yung sarili mo na ready ka na naalala ko nung nagmo-motorcyclo ako noon sa Pilipinas napaka-traffic sa Manila now, i always have to give myself a pep talk <laughs> before driving in rush hour traffic eh kasi nga madaming ano eh Uh, sabi nga nila eh, kung pwede lang magbuo daw ng uh, isang YouTuber, sabi niya, magbubuo daw siya ng isang organization. Ang pangalan, Anti-Kamote Campaign. Kasi madami daw kamote na nagbumotor sa Pilipinas. <laughs> well, meron dito rin yan sa Amerika, pero mas madami sa atin <laughs> sa Pilipinas. <laughs> no, kasi at least uh, dito... Pag baka makakuha ng lisensya, talagang napakahirap. No? Eh, sa atin, eh, basta pagsampa ng motor, pwede na. Kaya madami na nadidiskrasya araw-araw. Kaya what I do, I always have to give myself a pep talk before driving in rush hour. No? Kasi I want to know my triggers. Pwede akong magalit. Eh. No? If you know your triggers, no, you'll soon find your angry episodes. No? na it will become fewer and fewer. Makakatulong kung ikaw mismo mag-identify. And in the process, you'll be looking to God more. Dati, kumbaga, pagka may ginawang mali sa'yo, eh, hahabuli mo na mura or, you know, your middle finger. Pero ngayon, nako, You will, you will you will be in the process that you'll be looking to God more, the true source of your security, connection, and control. Pagka nagalit ka ngayon, sabi mo na lang, God bless you. Right? Oh, Di ba? Mas maganda yan. Kaya know your triggers. Alamin mo kung ano yung nagpapagalit sa'yo sa tulong ng ating Panginoon. Kaya ay mo si Haring David. Manalangin tayo. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. For every day you are faithful. No, you, you every morning you renew your faithfulness, and you you keep on teaching us to calm down, saying that uh, you are in perfect control of everything. And uh, when we rely on your strength, Lord, mababago yung attitude namin, mababago yung puso namin. Talaga mababor nagen kami at talaga mabubuhay kami. Pwede mabuhay in holiness. Pwede mabuhay ng kagaya mo, Panginoon. Lord, gusto kitang makilala. Gusto kitang ipakilala sa mga taong nakikinig at mga nanonood ngayon. Kaya nais ko sana na anyayahan ng lahat na tayo manalangin sa Panginoon. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask for your forgiveness. I am a sinner, but I believe that you died upon the cross for me. that you shed your precious blood for the forgiveness of my sins. I accept you now as my Savior, my Lord, my God. 
my friend. Come into my heart and set me free from my sin. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Happy Thursday. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen and amen and amen. God bless you. Um, thank you for having us and uh, making us part of your spiritual growth every day. Happy Thursday. Bye. God bless you.